What is an SSL certificate? Or what is the purpose of an SSL certificate? So SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer, and the certificate basically acts like a tunnel so that your browser can talk to this server that has the website that you're trying to access without anybody else watching what you're doing. That communication between your browser and that server is encrypted. Even if like somebody was trying to access it, it would be like all garbledly gook. So what changes visually? There's a lock icon that appears in your browser. So if you look up where your web address is in the browser, if you see a little lock icon, like a little padlock, that means that that site that you're visiting is secure. Otherwise, you can also see that if you were to expand out the web address, you would see that instead of HTTP colon slash slash, it would say HTTPS for secure colon slash slash. So most users know to look for the lock symbol, but they also know to look for the HTTPS. But how does an SSL certificate work? So when someone visits a website with an SSL certificate on it, what happens is, is that server will send that browser, that person's computer, a key. Now what is that key? It is a string of random letters and things that is only known to the two parties, right? So what does that look like? It looks like this. That's, that's a lot of, lot of characters. <laughs> so what happens is, is that their browser's like, yeah, that looks legit. We can go ahead and go to this website. And then it establishes that tunnel, that safe connection between your computer and the server. And when I keep saying server, I'm talking about like the machine that hosts the website, the machine that has the website that you're trying to view. So it's a communication between your computer and that machine. And it's called a key because if the key fits the lock, meaning that string of letters and numbers and characters, it's the key to unlock access to the website. So from here, basically what happens is, is that that browser and that website kind of talk in this super secret tunnel. And if you imagine like a tunnel, like nobody else is getting in, like it really goes, it's, it's not foolproof, don't get me wrong, but it is, it is very, very good at keeping your data safe. So like if you imagine you go to an e-commerce website and then suddenly like you're talking with them on this SSL certificate, the encryption actually prevents a lot of outside attacks just because there's no way they're gonna unencrypt that data. So what happens if you don't have an SSL certificate and you're a business owner with a website? What happens? Okay, so number one, they're usually free. So not having one is kind of pointless. And I'll tell you why in the next one. Just as a little side note, the only time you should really consider paying for an SSL certificate is when you need kind of like a higher up one because you're doing like credit card transactions. You want to go that extra mile about keeping your customer's data safe so you don't get in trouble. Two, and probably the number one reason I tell people to at least get the free one, is because Google loves SSL certificates, like loves them. And in fact, they went so far as to say, hey, we're going to give priority to sites that have them. So all things being equal, the site that's got the SSL certificate is the one that's going to shine, right? The other one's going to be showing up in the, in the search results. It's not that this one doesn't show up, it's just that this one's going to be above that one, all things being equal. And also, again, even though this is true, that this one still shows up, with this one, the one that doesn't have the SSL certificate, what ends up happening is Google throws up a wall. And we've all been to sites where suddenly it's like, are you sure it's safe to proceed? Are you sure you want to keep going? That like little wall that shows up in our browser is like, hey, this is not a secure site. Are you sure you want to go ahead and do this? And you can still do it with like the little drop down and like go through it like safe to proceed and all this stuff, like if it's a known website. But still, like how many times have you seen that and you're like, nope, back button. And you, and you totally leave. And three, and even though this is like still kind of related to the last one, having the SSL certificate prevents a lot of hackers from getting to your site. So why wouldn't you at least do the free one just to prevent that from happening? So how do I get an SSL certificate? The easiest way to get it, now you can get it from your domain registrar or you can get it from your hosting company. Your hosting company being where your site files are saved, but the best place to get it in my opinion is actually from your hosting company because that's where it's gonna live. It's going to live with your website files, right? They go in and they uh, adjust your HT access file and it's, it's, that's where it all lives. So I would just suggest getting it from your hosting company. Why are there different kinds of SSL certificates and which one should I choose? So the information I'm about to provide is kind of general because each hosting company, I mean, they're individual businesses, they all kind of have their own flavors of, of SSL certificates, but there's usually a couple different tiers. There's usually a free version, kind of like a mid-tier version for the people that don't want to pay the big bucks, and then of course there's the high tier, the deluxe version. 
So let's take the company I use, Green Geeks, as an example, right? They have two versions. They have the, the Let's Encrypt version and the Global Sign Alpha SSL version. So of course, the Let's Encrypt version is free. It's supposed to be for like personal blogs and like non-commercial websites, even though I still use them on commercial websites. It renews quarterly, but you don't have to do anything with it. It just kind of happens automatically. It works on subdomains, which is like www.nameofmywebsite.com. Um, the www is a subdomain and it could also be something like mysubdomain.mydomain.com. It has 256-bit encryption, which is just like the, the higher tier I'm about to tell you about. It has mobile and browser compatibility, but only if they say 85% and that's based on like the top 100,000 websites that there are. The part that is not covered is like Windows XP and like ridiculously old cell phones. We're talking like 90% of your, I mean, these are the made up percentages, but like a whole lot of your audience is going to be covered just by the regular certificate. It does not come with a site seal or a warranty and the warranty I'm kind of like, eh, about like it's, huh. Even the SSL, like even like the nice one is kind of like the warranty is not that great. So they say also that there's limited installation help with it, but I will tell you something like, I've never had a problem with Ge Green Geeks hosting like customer service. If there's a problem, they just go fix it. And I think that that's gonna be what you're gonna run into with most hosting companies. What it doesn't cover are secondary subdomains. And I don't know how many of you are really gonna have this. I mean, this is kind of like a more technical thing anyway, but like secondary subdomains is when you have two something dot somethings in front of your domain name. So like wendy.webdesigner creationdepot.com. If having those two front domains, right, that's not supported for SSL certificates. But a more common one is something like mail.server.yourdomain.com. Now the global sign, the alpha SSL version, the deluxe version, right? That one, and, and that you will find this, again, this is just kind of like domains like where the first year it's a whole lot cheaper, the second year it's a whole lot more expensive. In the grand scheme of things, it's still pretty cheap compared to like other companies. They will charge you $49.95 for this certificate and then the next year it's $99.95. Again, this is probably more relevant for higher up companies or companies that have like more to lose kind of thing. They have um, a higher warranty. You can get up to 1.5 million if you want to warranty that great but you're gonna have to go through like tech support and like do that directly you can't just buy that from their website but they also have the secure um, coverage for that secondary domain thing but that's it those are the only differences guys like it's not a huge difference between the two because let's encrypt is like a publicly provided one and they're just taking part in that program but the alpha SSL one that was like if you're doing like a whole lot of website transactions, you're probably gonna want that one because it kind of gives that extra boost of security. But for most of you like business starters, I would say you're probably okay. I mean, do your homework, do your research, you know, figure it out because every hosting company is different. I'm just talking about green geeks, right? But every hosting company is different, but you could definitely, you know, just start out with Let's Encrypt and then move up later as your business grows. All right, guys, so that's it for SSL certificates. I hope that was helpful. Please feel free to leave a thanks, Wendy, in the comments below because that actually does help boost the video. It's kind of like leaving a virtual tip because you're helping my channel grow. So I do appreciate that. But if you will look right here, I've got my next video up and this one is why I tell my clients use WordPress, right? WordPress is like 33% of all the websites in the entire world and there's a good reason why. And I'm gonna get into that in this video right here. So feel free to click on that. Feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.